Oh, we're starting? But I want to watch that. Oh, H-Box getting the earbuds out. Uh -oh. oh, here comes uh -oh. Kanye. It's getting serious. Here comes Kanye. <laughs> Fucking squared out. Uh, they still haven't unwrapped their they were controllers. Watching. Dagbo does not look does not look amused. Dagbo looks a little bit tired. He's like, if I see another Squirtle in teams. Well, I don't think it matters because uh, Game Watch kind of poops on Squirtle really hard. Yeah, Game Watch and Toon Link do not sound very friendly to Squirtle in no. teams. I'm and we all know that Junebug has a uh, Game Watch issue anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Professionalism. <laughs> American bomb child. I, I really like Junebug's shirt there. Just not noticing that. There, Goku? Yeah, I didn't see that earlier today. I like uh, Dirt Boy's Led Zeppelin t-shirt. Oh, yeah. I also like both Lunchables and Dakpo's FX Game Exchange uh, Plano, Texas shirts. Yes. Follow them on Twitter at FX underscore DFW. Yeah, they're fucking cool. Shout-outs to the uh, FX guys. They don't even kick me out of the venue. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Shout-outs to Trey. Trey's really cool. I remember the first time I met him, and he was just like, I was just like swearing real loud. And he's like, you can't swear. And I was like, shit, I'm sorry. And he's like, what did I just say? And I was like, oh, <laughs> it's my bad, dude. I didn't even mean it to be like a scumbag. I was just like oh, actually yeah, apologizing. Yeah. Oh, oh crap, my dude. I'm sorry, I'm just like distracted by melee. <laughs> Looks like they've settled on Smashville. Yeah. All right, game one. Dackables versus uh, Dirty Bugs. Dirty Bugs. June, June Boy. That'd be a pretty good team name. I should do that. It is June, right now. Oh, the it, the it month is, is June. He could be extra powerful right now, or incredibly weak. Like Krypton is where where uh, Superman's from, but he's really yeah. weak to Kryptonite. He's really stupid. Superman's dumb. Fuck Superman. All right. So anyway, like we were talking about, I think Squirtle's gonna struggle against both these characters, and I think uh, Junebug's gonna want to try to fight Toon Link as much as possible and not deal with Game and Watch uh, for personal preference of characters. Wow, Dirt Boy actually grabbed that. I'm a little surprised about that. I know uh, Dirt Boy and Ripple actually took a set off of Dackables uh, at Super Bit Wars in February. So um, they might both do kind of bad against Squirtle in teams. I also think Dirt Boy is incredible at teams in terms of his awareness and things like that. So oh yes, he's very strong. I've been completely yeah. impressed consistently with Dirt Boy's performance in teams. And we've got a pretty big lead right now for Red Team Game 1. Uh, Junebug is only taking mid percent, so... Deck is having a really rough time. I'm yeah. The jams come out. He's he's honestly losing to Dirt Boy in a lot of these exchanges. Uh, I think he's concerned with, like, the edge guard, or, like, um, the combo game on Squirtle, and I don't think, um, he can do as much because a lot of his stuff starts with grab and not up B against Squirtle. Uh, and he's got really, really slow, awkward, clunky grabs in so they don't work as well as oh they yeah, do in singles because yeah, yeah. they'll get interrupted. Damn. Right. Gets the grab. All right, stage control is still pretty firmly in red team's favor. Oh, good tech roll in recognizing um, that he can uh, kind of use Dakpo. To, or, sorry, I'm just not naming names. But Lunchables tech rolled in there, and then, oh, he missed his Dakpo kind of killed himself there. Ooh, this is looking kind of slop from blue team. My goodness. Bow. Yeah, blue team's really, really struggling to find any kind of openings where they can assume stage control and then also be just boxing people out. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It's just like it's not like they're having trouble killing. Like they're killing at okay percents. It's just they're not getting any damage in. Yeah. Yeah. Techbo's not not had a whole lot go in his favor. No. no. Good up B. Kind of punished by Crawl Attack, but not really at all. A little bit of miscommunication here from Red Team. Again, they've got such a big lead that it doesn't really matter. 
like a full two stock lead. Yeah. It's oh my three. god. Yeah, that goes. Bad trades. Mm, yeah. And I don't think I don't think Game Watch is a really good TV one character in general. No. Because all of his moves are kind of like chunky, and it's just like you wait, and it's just like you can only hit one of them, and then the other one's just like I'm gonna hit you really fucking hard. And then Game Watch is like I wait nothing. Yeah. yeah he just he, gives he just, up. Yeah, and he's I like would, I don't even need this shit. Let's just I go to the next game. Absolutely do that as well. They're gonna switch team. Uh, car um, not characters. They're gonna switch. Uh, oh, he is gonna switch characters, okay. but they're also gonna switch uh, stages. I keep forgetting that we do character first now. I hate that. I like stage first. I feel like if you have a secondary character, uh, it's your opponent's responsibility to know that and and like stage strike accordingly. That's hidden knowledge. That's extra tools that you have. Yeah, I mean it, it cuts it cuts both ways sort of though. Yeah, there's sure. also people. I mean there's there's kind of things that get reversed like for both sides. Where mm -hmm. it's like okay, well you pick this stage, so winner switches or loser switches, and then somebody just gets like a big advantage. Well, I get the idea that it's like you always want to like character first always gives you the the losing person like a better advantage, but it's just like sometimes they're like a more consistent advantage. Yeah, yeah. It's harder to like throw away your advantage. Yeah, it's your it's first. you fucking up if you fucked up the advantage. Yeah, yeah. but still. Yeah, this is a good uh, counter. I think this is one of Roy's best stages and Game & Watch's best stage. Uh, Squirtle might not do that well here. I don't particularly know. And I don't think Diddy d does... Uh, I don't think Diddy actually cares. I think Diddy's pretty neutral on this stage. He does fine. But Roy kind of likes Diddy Kong's combo weight. Um, Diddy Kong against Roy is probably pretty close to even. And then Squirtle gets shit on by Roy. So now this is just like a, a better killing character. Like I guess he's just like I'm gonna go in now because Dakpo is kind of like I don't know what to do and I don't want to go in. Yeah. And Toon Link's not a character that like goes in. He's just like I want to wall out with projectiles and like frustrate. Roy is just like I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna fucking hit I forward on the C do stick do do do. and you're gonna die at ten. Let's go. Let me show you my limp noodle. You know, yeah. That's not so limp. Yeah, he's definitely taking Viagra in Project Ten. That was his buff. That was the buff. Yeah. Boom. Final hit. Oh, wow. Okay. Boom. He pulls back in. Goodbye. To the shield grab. Holy shit. The Roy is just putting Lun Lunchable, in. Lunchables is mad. Lunchables oh is like, all right, boys. Oh, my God. I like how they just got like straight, like almost seven stock or whatever. Or no, that was really said. They got kind of fucked up, though. It was like a four stock. Yeah. And now, now they're just like, nah, just kidding. Get fucked. We're better than yeah. you. It's like a walk off four stock. Don't yeah. even don't even play it out. Four stock. Yeah. Oh. That guy's doing a lot better against Dirt Boy in this set. He's caught him off guard a couple of times. He's not. I guess it's the pressure of being relieved of not having to go in that's helping him. Looks like Lucky just beat H-Box. Oh, nope. Never mind. Get fucked. I kind of want to go back and watch that set. I'm, I'm hyped to watch it. Anyway, speaking of uh, not hype, oh. poor red team. Just poor red team. Yeah. That code still has not lost a stock. Glass cannon. See? I Died at 160 early percents. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Juma, Juma the Sasha Gray combo. like he was going to walk the off. The Sasha Gray <laughs> combo. Just grab him by the fit. Oh, right there. <laughs> Brutal. Don't look that up, kids. Juma had the best mind games. Like, okay, you know what? I'm going to do the deck. I'm just going to walk off. This, the set's over with. You know, the game's over with, but no. What? Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely PG-13. Let's be honest. On the internet, Sasha Gray is PG-13. <laughs> I mean, she, was re she, was re she went to that kindergarten and was reading books to hey the man. children, you hey know? Man. She's, she's great. Shout-outs to being old enough to go on Disney.com without parental permission. <laughs> You'll get there one day, Els. <laughs> I get out of middle school first. You want a piece of gum, dude? It'll, sure. it'll ruin your commentary. Oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, just, hey, man, I do you want a peanut butter sandwich? <laughs> oh, my God. Just wash it down with some Elmer's glue. All right, anyway, speaking of Elmer's glue, they're going to take Diddy Kong to the factory. No, that's horses, not too not bad. That's, man. yeah. My bad. I got that's kind of a brutal thing to say. My bad. Shout out to horses. I'm sorry. Did you ever watch Sea Biscuit? Who hasn't? 
me. That's why I was asking if you had. I wonder if you can fill me in. No, I can't tell you about that, bro. You've never seen that <laughs> shit. I've never seen ah, it either. I got your ass. Oh, oh. mugged. Oh, never mind. Diddy Kong made it back anyway. I just realized how cool Diddy Kong's recovery could have been if it was just like he got the he got in the hovercraft from uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Oh yeah, it would been stupid. He got in the plane. <laughs> <laughs> PMBR, please. Yeah, Diddy no. Kong plane win. Drumstick just picks him up and just like gets him to the ledge automatic. It's a tether. Oh god, drumstick. Dude, drumstick was like the most OP if you if you were smart and banned TT. Yeah. He's so fast. TT is broken. Oh my god, godlike counter. Yeah. Looks like the Roy is just really good at just kind of setting him a wall. It's really hard for either one of them to get in on Roy, and then Game Watch is just like, I'm also a bunch of hitboxes. You have nowhere to run now. Armors through the forward air and kills him with F Smash. Good shit from Dirt Boy. Really smart recognition. Bacon. Deco may, yeah, he may want to throw out more bacon. I've not seen a whole lot of it this set. Mm, he throws out bacon against floatier characters that like kind of like to jump. I don't think he cares about about throwing bacon as much against characters with good ground speed like uh, Diddy Kong and, and uh, Squirtle have, because it's just like I have to jump and then they'll get underneath me and things. Against Puff or something where it's just like ah they have to jump at me, it's gonna interrupt everything they have. It, Their boy. Oh, the let's go. Roll up. Oh, the good save. Super good save. I don't know if you can, eat. can you get another nah, save. No, it's not yes, even worth trying. Yeah. I mean, oh no! Oh, no, not the Dacus into your friend. No, bad. pretty bad DI from Junebug. That should be the stock. Probably, okay. absolutely the stock. Oh, and he kills him with down tilt. All of a sudden, Dak Poke just clinging on at 154, hanging out at the ledge. He's like, "You can't kill me. I'm invincible." Oh, rolls towards Junebug. That was pretty questionable, but he got away with it because Junebug decided to go fight uh, Munchables. Munchable stock. Yeah. yeah, the frailty of of. Uh, of Roy's recovery is really being shown in this uh, in this match particularly. He's kind of dying pretty early. Oh, let's go! Squirtle's getting fucked up. <clears throat> Hard read on the roll, but it missed. I oh, got him again though. Very doable for either team. Oh, barely misses the Dacus there. That's a good tech roll. Yeah, Roy can just kill either one of these characters outright at these percents. Boom. Uh, I don't know if I agree with the up smash. Yeah, he probably could have just up smashed. Yeah. Might have been a miss input. Back air is going to kill, and all of a sudden, blue team has a uh, okay lead. Oh, really nasty DI on the back air, too, but it's okay. He lives. Oh, Pan Spike hits his teammate, and all of a sudden, Roy's at a billion percent and at the left. <gasps> Banana's getting in the way. Oh no, he got caught in shield. Uh, There's nowhere to go for Roy. That's going to be the stop. There's absolutely no way Dak can save him. Their boy's yeah. all over him right now. That being said, Dak Poe can do this. Um, it's not unfeasible. It's going to be difficult considering the characters. Everybody's trading the peanut with each other. I could make another Sasha Gray comment. <laughs> not going to. Upper. Oh, it didn't kill. Fuck you. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's living! Wow, he can up air that low and still grab ledge. Oh, he's dead. Hold on. Dude, D Kong's up, up smash is really, really fast. I think it's frame five. I think it's. I thought it was frame four. three. No. It's a frame. It might be frame four because I think it might be a f five frame out of shield option. Okay. It's either frame four or five. Chat, it's go fast. Ahead. It's chat. frame fast. Yeah, chat, please let me know. That's the correct frame. Frame 3 up smash is like fucking absurd. <laughs> Alright. They're thinking about where to go. They want platforms again. Um, what do they have open? Battlefield? Okay. I would go to Battlefield. I would not go to Dreamland. No, 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 no. Dreamland's probably their next best pick. Other otherwise, it's Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island is probably fucking dog shit for Game & Watch, though. The platform probably interrupts Bacon's. Ah, he doesn't want to Bacon that much. It could be a good state. They're going to Dreamland. Oh. No? All right, they're taking their turn. They're trolling a little bit. Dakpo thinks, or no, it's not Dakpo. Matt 
is a Game & Watch that I live with. He thinks Bowser's Castle is one of the worst uh, stages for Game & Watch. I was going to say, I don't think they're going to go there. Alright. So they're going to Yoshi's and M. Come on. Little baby screen. Big screen. Yay. Yeah. A B. Oh, the meaty F smash. Boom. I don't even think Durbo is just sliding in. But oh, no. It. No, 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 no. Lunchables kind of got caught late. Dako randomly just, just fell down. I, yeah, I don't know if he... Did he air dodge? I didn't see him. I just saw him down there, and I was like, is he going to... be? Oh, no, he's not. I don't know how low the floor is in terms of Dako being able to sweet spot, but I don't think it's, like, a super high floor, so I think he can sweet spot, like, without getting yeah, uncomfortably it's, it's close fine. to the yeah, place. Yeah, so. it should be fine for him, so... Oh, good down smash and terrible DI on it. Dirt Boy should be dead. No. Oh. Uh, actually, I think um, Lunch or Game Watch can edge guard Squirtle on this stage incredibly well um, with the down tilt the slant, clip yeah, clipping. Yeah, down tilt's very he, nice. He, he might game. still trade with up B, so it could be bad. I don't know. I don't know the matchup. But oh god, just he said no. Fuck your judgment hammer. He gets Ooh. the waterfall kill. Yeah. That was a very good setup by Jin. Big up tilt. Holy shit, that was amazing. Junebug's got some really good awareness this game. Yeah, Junebug's turning it up. Uh. Ooh. Okay. Nair? Oh, Dakpo Nair. Still gets the Nair. Get the, get the very low Nair. Did the bad Nair, though. You could have killed him instead. There it is. Yeah, that's the thing with Game. I was saying earlier, Game Watch's throws are too slow and clunky, yeah. so he just got aqua jetted. Oh, this is actually hella close. I didn't even notice that the oh, Deku was bringing just it back. Read a ton from Jubuck there. Read his tech it. roll. Oh, oh. Dude, it's probably gonna be fine. This may be a little bit dangerous though. I'm not barely misses that. Oh, he tried to do anything out of shield, but Roy has kind of lackluster out of shield options, as do most Fire Emblem characters. So he can only kind of roll in. His hope. But they've got stage control right now. Boom, back air's gonna kill Squirrel. No, no not yet, not yet. Send him too far the other way. Dead. No! Damn. Oh. He's a semi fast faller, I forgot. Did he grab the OP? Uh, Dirt Boy just kind of died. I guess that makes up for Dakwa just kind of dying earlier. Now they're Dirt Boy may get this on Oh. Oh, he got clipped out of his up B. Dead? I would have just backed I was smart from Dirt Boy to, to DI to kind of fall off stage. Yeah, I would have grabbed the edge. I would just back thrown him and be like, hey, Roy's here if you DI correctly. Yeah. Roy's here with a back air. And it kills real good. Down throw should kill. kill. Yeah, that absolutely should kill. Don't take it. Don't take it. Don't you take. Don't fucking take it. Uh oh, he may he may regret this. The jab of kings. Oh no. Yeah, this could be like if 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 your boy wins this, this will be the second time where um, Dakpo taking a stock cost them a game. Oh, oh my oh, god, oh. that was almost orgasmic. Dead? In there? Yeah, he's got him. There we go. Good old upbeat to you. Good up to, up to anything. What do you mean you were comboing me? Shut up. <laughs> ah, dude. The it going is, to, going it, to game five. That's my favorite victory music. The It Is a Mystery. Yeah. It's really good. You've seen that video, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Have you? I fucking, it's so easy to tell when you're lying, dude. You have the easiest tells. Wobble him. Boom. Reverse F smash. Holy shit. What's the set count? Is it 2-0? Okay. Well, I was going to get 3-0. Well, I was going to get 3-0. Oh! Jeez! 
No, you're not chic. Every I like how it doubles just ceases to play. Oh, whoa! Oh. Dead. Okay. Wobbles is 3 0 to Mango. Damn. Alright. Anyway, back to his doubles again. Game 5 of Losers Finals. If they can go to a small city. They do want to go to Bowser's Castle. Is probably their best bet, in my opinion. Probably it gives them a lot of room to move. Uh, I don't think it's very good for Game Watch, and probably not that great for Roy. Um, the sides are very wide. More so for Game and uh, it's it's worse for Game Watch. The floor is really high, so sweet spotting is yeah, kind of troublesome. Yeah, it's a little awkward. Uh, Sonic as well. A couple of those characters. The like that. the emblem actually is raised a little bit, so there's weird angles for like down tilt and things like that. They do okay, so they do opt for Bowser's. Probably their best bet, in my opinion. I think the platforms are actually really good for um, Squirtle's like options for descending with like side B and things like oh, that yeah. as well. Uh, so this is probably their best bet for taking the set. Smart counter pick. I don't know if it's that bad for Roy. Roy kind of likes the platform lights. Soft up air is really good on these platform lights. Oof, let's go. Ah, uh, Derp. Okay. I thought I was going to say Derp Boy just straight up killed him with like a cheese. Yeah, um, so Roy's double edge dance is a pretty strong move in general. Uh, you really only counter it with either shield and then acting out of shield in between the hits or crouching it. So if you get caught either in the air or not cr Whoa! That move's called Exterminator for a reason. I think it's called Exterminator. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's called Exterminator. I'm like almost 100. The down smash? It, it, I think it, it's his jab that's the. Well, he kill he's, he kills rats. It might be called vermin or something. Down smash. Oh, okay. But he did kill two vermin, so it's still sensible. Oh, good, good wall jump from Dirt Boy. That basically saved him there. Oh uh, yeah, red team's kind of just getting bootied on right now in terms of like combos. Oh, Scorp. Oh, I was gonna say, Dirt Boy, Dirt Boy just killed yeah, Dakos. He was reaching a little up. bit for it, but I respect yeah. him reaching for that. I think it would have killed if he connected it all. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of just like, it, it seems like Junebug's like, I don't know what to do when you're spacing double edge dance well against uh, Launchables. Oh, he gets grabbed. F tilt's gonna kill. Okay. Backer's not gonna kill yet. This is a, yeah. This is another good reason for. Or another reason why it's a good stage for Squirtle is, is the wide blast zones. Yeah. He just kind of holds up and he's like, well, I can recover wherever the hell I want to. And he's got easy platforms to get to. Uh, I see. I could see how um, Gaming Watch is better in teams on this stage because if your opponent is on a platform, you can trap them with bacon. You can kind of... Uh, keep them and harass them in a spot while your teammate goes up there and gets them. Blue team kind of struggling to make any headway for space or control. Mm -hmm. Ah, but really dies to up B. I guess because he's on the platform, but you don't see that very often. Yeah, it's not a normal launcher. It has like base and growth, like a like a regular attack. It's not a launcher up B like. Uh, like the first hit of like Roy's up here or something like that. You know what I mean? Oh, da Daco gets the save, but it didn't matter because Junebug was there anyways. Yeah, he just comfortably up ease and falls with down air, and Squirtle doesn't really have anything to contest that unless he hard reads it with up smash, and that's just too laggy of a move to do in doubles. Boom! I thought he was just going to turn around and try to F smash Squirtle. Oh, he tried to read the miss tech or tech in place. Oh no, did he call his anger? Oh, that's Game Watch is gonna bad live. DI from that down throw though. That it doesn't matter, he's got plenty of time to make it back. They were concerned with Roy. Which wasn't the wor their worst decision ever. Um, oh! Oh, Junebug is not dead, having a good stock and here. Junebug's gonna be struggling against these two characters because they both do part pretty well against Roy. Oh, what is, that's what is this? Yeah, <laughs> these, these platforms are godlike for Roy. 
Yeah. That no. He uh, he blew his load too soon there. Nair's gonna put him off without a jump. This is gonna be very hard to cover against. Okay. Just he should just kept holding it. Yeah. Nah, it's Dead. All right. Good, good stuff. Junebug and Dirtboy out at third, and Dackables heading to Grand Finals to fight Stereo Kid and, uh, what's his fuck? Hyperflame. Hyperflame. That's his name. Hyperflame's like, why don't you know my name yet? It's Dackables again. It was really close. Good luck, guys. Sorry you had to lose 6-0. No, I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. 